Welcome to the Astral Travel with Lord Arcturus Meditation. Focusing on your breathing now, deep breathing. Slowing it down, deep breaths in and out. In and out in your own tempo. Drop a little bit deeper into your inner world as you focus on your heart energy. Connect to your heart energy and expand it out to six feet in all directions. Forming a sphere of your own heart energy. Witness the blue, the pink, the gold, liquid light within your heart energy, connected to the threefold flame. And breathe your heart energy down to the core of Gaia, matching her heart energy, meeting her heart, connecting to her heart. Receive from her, breathe this combined energy up through your pillar, up through your higher chakras all the way to source. You can choose to go through the sun, the central sun, the great central sun portals to source, or breathe all the way straight up to source, down to Gaia, back up to source in your own tempo. Keep focusing on your energetic pillar as we ask for the angels the archangels, the ascended masters, and the karmic board to merge deeply and fully with us now through all dimensions of our fields. We ask for our God presences, our guides, our ascension councils to work in harmonious group consciousness together so the highest of the highest of the highest will be shown here today for all of us in our here and now. We ask for a temple of Mother Gaia grounding to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. We ask for a temple of divine union to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. Finally calling on a God Presence communion temple to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. Feel how your support team merges with you, with your field energetically. Feel how the connection to the temples, these high frequency energetic fields, raises your frequency opens your field up and relax more out of your mind deeper into your inner world take some deep breaths in and out as you place your consciousness and awareness now in the God Presence Communion Temple And do your pillar here as you connect to the crystal at the core of the temple, the crystal consciousness. Send out your energy through your brow, your heart, and your sacral chakras to the crystal at the core. And receive from the crystal as well, establishing a strong connection here in the temple. And find a spot, comfortable spot to be seated in one of the concentric circles around the core crystal. And keep exchanging your energy with the crystal at the core of the temple. Keep breathing deeply up and down your pillar. Receiving from Gaia, from Source, from your support teams all around you. As we are greeted by Lord Arcturus, who's quite excited to be with us today. He shares he will be taking all of us on a journey deep into the core of the Arcturian energies. And first, he would like for you to experience a deeper connection to the Arcturian energies. And he activates a field in the temple. 
of golden green liquid light energetics unique and different spectrum energetics feel this connection to the Arcturian field now he states as you relax more deeply remaining present but very relaxed slowing your brain waves down even further he states letting go of any thoughts and emotions that you don't need during this journey or that no longer serve you breathe them down to Gaia for transformation to universal love and light frequencies he states all of you present hold connections to the Arcturian realm either through soul extensions past experiences and for some of you future experiences he smiles remembering that this temple is in no time and no space and linear time is an illusion set on earth decided upon on earth but an illusion nonetheless feel these energetic frequencies and Lord Arcturus explains that they are running at 25% density capacity he states and he will increase this now to 50% be mindful of the difference see if you can feel it so you can hone out tune into this frequency more powerfully within your field he states Most of you will feel these energies in different parts of your multidimensional field, Lord Arcturus states. See if you can witness where you mainly feel them, perhaps in your higher chakras or around the heart and thymus, perhaps the sacral hara and solar plexus, or perhaps the lower chakras, base link and earth star chakras. This will give you some insights and information as far as your Arcturian energetic connections. Also, he smiles where the Arcturian frequencies are healing your field is relevant within this query, within this experience. ramping these energies up now to 75% density he states for some of you this may feel a little overwhelming you may feel a little sleepy just expand your chakras and your energy bodies a little bit further so you can take in these frequencies he states breathing deeply up and down your pillar relaxing being in the here and now moment, in no time, no space. Holding all your focus, your consciousness, your attention, your awareness here, now. As at 75%, you start to synchronize with the group consciousness energy in the temple. Witness this happening within your field now. And if you have any energies, layers, thoughts, emotions, beliefs coming up that you are not safe to connect in group consciousness, let them go now. Reminding you that it is your God presence, your spirit, your divine presence that has brought you here, that has guided you here, that is in full control and guidance of this session, this meditation, this experience. So it is you who is in full control. So you are fully safe. 
or else you would not have been guided here, you would not be present, and you would not be experiencing what you are currently experiencing here in the temple, he states. So relax even deeper now. Expand your energy bodies even more now here within the temple. As the energies are ramped up to 100% now within this current matrix construct. Matrix of the temple, construct of the session, he clarifies. Feel the silky, smooth energetics of love and light intertwined, mixed together in a powerful group consciousness, energy wave moving through your field, connecting you to all other souls present here during this experience from earth and other realms. For those of you for whom it is relevant, you will have your Arcturian soul extension or one of your Arcturian soul extensions with you now, standing either behind you to your left or to your right or sitting next to you behind you to your left to your right. If so, connect to this one now. They will be with you during your travels to Arcturus. Some of you will meet your soul extension when we arrive on Arcturus in the Arcturian energies. Breathing deeply up and down your pillar now as we prepare group Merkaba and start our travel, our astral travel to Arcturus in three, two, one. Now. Expanding your higher chakras a little bit more to take in the high frequency energies as we will be traveling to a very high frequency part of the Arcturian energetic field. And as we arrive, setting up your pillar again straight to source, running it through the core of the Arcturian energies to the core of Gaia, back up through the core of the Arcturian energies, through your energy bodies to source. So basically incorporating Arcturus within your pillar, this maintains a strong connection to the Arcturian realm and Gaia and the God Presence Communion Temple. As we arrive, setting up your pillar in this way now to source through your energy bodies to the core of Arcturus, down to the core of Gaia and back up. Relaxing now. Activating all of your clair senses. Whichever ones they are for you that you utilize that have been activated for you in this life or that you are currently activating. You will notice we are currently in a small open space like a temple, Lord Arcturus states, with a beautiful liquid light fire at the core. Find a spot in one of the concentric circles around the fire. and get accustomed to your surroundings. In this particular part of the Arcturian energies, each one of you will be seeing, experiencing different surroundings around the temple. It is an open temple, and some of you will have a lot of nature scenes, others more galactic or universal or cosmos-like scenes. Others will witness more of the temple structure. For some of you, there will be a lot of soul family around. 
galactic soul family, universal soul family. And for others it will be like you are with Lord Arcturus himself only, he states. Whatever your presence has lined up for you is what you will experience. Enjoy this experience. It is perfectly suited to you, perfectly tailored to you. Breathe deeply up and down your pillow now. Notice how the floor under the liquid light fire opens up. And at the core of the liquid light fire is a large opening like a pillar. Gently reach your hand out now and feel the temperature of the liquid light fire. You will notice it feels just right to you. It cannot harm you. For some of you it will feel cold and cool, for others very warm, even hot, but not burning you. Notice now how this pillar within the fire opens up more widely and how light starts to come from the core of the fire. This will reveal a slide, stairs, or a large pillar of energy. Very unique to each and every one of you. You're asked to stand up now and step into the core of the fire. Make your way down these stairs, down the slide, or simply drop into this pillar of energy. This is where the next phase of your journey starts. Lord Arcturus smiles. You are very safe and it will be a very exciting journey for you. A very beneficial and rewarding journey. With insights, gifts, keys, codes, recalibrations. Go on your unique journey now, down the stairs, down the slide down your energetic pillar and experience what your presence and your support team and your Arcturian soul family wishes to share with you at this stage. Feel free, feel safe. Any feelings where you are not feeling safe, you are not comfortable, you are worried, hand these over now for transformation. These are simply old wounds and as they are transformed will be adjusted in the Akashic Records, healed within your multidimensional field. For some of you, your environment will be very bright and light, like daylight. For others, it will be dark, but you will see a lot of glowing colors and everything in between. Some of you will be in inner Arcturian Earth-like caverns of different nature scenes. Others will end up in high-tech structures and spaces. Others will be in libraries or with soul family gatherings. Allow yourself to be surprised and enjoy this journey. It has been tailored specifically to your needs in your here and now. 
matched to the entry point from your linear time experience in your earthly incarnation. Remembering this experience is in no time, no space, but has been tailored to the entry point from your linear timeline. And if you so engage more often in this experience, it again will be tailored to the point you enter from your linear timeline. Your presence and spirit is very clever like that, Lord Arcturus smiles. Some of you will be guided to certain books within libraries or within nature scenes go even deeper underground or experience flying in an open air situation. Temperatures can vary greatly. Light can vary greatly. Colors will vary greatly. Really trust what you are seeing and feeling. Some will be hearing messages. Others will be infused with codes and keys. All of you will receive your first gift from your Arcturian soul extension or a being you encounter now. Tune into this object that you have received. Could be a book, a scroll, a gift, a crystal, and anything else. and learn what it is for, how it can assist you. Has it been with you in your past travels or is it new to you? Is it something that will help you with an initiation you are moving through in your current reality? Take in this wisdom now as you receive this object. And if it is not yet clear to you what this object is for, that is perfect in itself as well. Simply hold on to the object, perhaps put it in your pocket, hang it on your belt or in your backpack, and move on with your journey. For the next phase of your travels, you will all come across what looks like a wall of liquid light energy. This can be very different colors for each and every one of you, different consistencies. For some of you it may seem as solid as metal or diamond. For others it will be like water and for yet others it will be like mist or air. Nonetheless, you will all come to an energetic wall in your travels. And it is a little bit of a riddle how to get through. You will be guided by your presence, your Arcturian soul extension, or guidance from other team members. Some of you will create energetic doorways or simply step through. Others will use the gifts you have received 
to make your way through this wall. For some it will be easy, for some very hard, emotional, troublesome, like a mini initiation in itself, Lord Arcturus explains. May it be the experience it needs to be for you, but all of you will find your way through this wall of energy now. Take your time and be guided. And the next phase of your journey awaits you beyond this energetic wall. For those of you that feel stuck, your creativity and opening your higher chakras further will offer you the solution you need and your spirit states this will be a solution you will use for problems, initiations, roadblocks you have been facing in your here and now in your current earthly incarnation. For all of you this particular energetic wall and passing through it is connected deeply to solutions you will need and can utilize right now in your earthly incarnation. Allow your presence to speak to you, communicate with you how these are connected. For those of you that have passed through the wall, continue on your journey. Be guided. There may be a different energetic being or a group of beings that await you on the other side of the wall that will travel with you, will guide you. The scenery may be totally different. You may be outside rather than underground. It may be dark rather than light. You may be flying or swimming rather than walking. Be very open to these changes and trust your journey deeply. All of it is relevant. All of it is connected. About 20% are yet to pass through the wall. If you have not passed through, Open your higher chakras and your heart chakra more widely now for the solutions to assist you on how to move through. Remembering that you are on the inner realms and you can change the energetic structure of the wall as well, which will be an insight to solve certain initiations you are moving through in your earthly incarnation at this time. And for a very few of you, it will almost be like sheer force of will and willpower that will get you through. And this is exactly the energy you are in need of in your current daily life, in your earthly incarnation. This is, however, more of an exception than the rule for most. All have passed through now. Lord Octura smiles. Your presences and support teams are very happy. Follow your path now on your unique journey. And soon you will encounter another individual or a group of souls, beings, high frequency beings that will have your next gift for you.
receive this gift now. It will be an object again, but a little less tangible than the first time. For some it will be receiving light language, or a mantra, or a scroll. It will be connected to wisdom and insight for all of you. It can be keys and codes, light language, all connected to wisdom, energetic wisdom, that may make sense to you straight away, or will make more sense to you as time unfolds in your earthly incarnation past this session. As you receive this gift, take in the wisdom, breathe deeply up and down your pillar, through the sun, central sun, the great central sun to source, down through your energy bodies to the core of Arcturus, to the core of Gaia. And back up, relax yourself, enjoy your journey, take it all in. And understand that this journey is just as real as the experience in your earthly daily life. You are in your inner realms and you truly are experiencing this in no time and no space. And this insight will add on to the wisdom you have just received, Lord Arcturus states reminding you deeply that you are a multidimensional being, remembering that you are a multidimensional being that is more than the lifetime you are currently leading on Earth or other realms if you have entered into this session from other realms. Very soon all of you will encounter a similar temple to where you started with a liquid light fire burning at the core. The temple will seem familiar but be different. The color of the liquid light fire will be similar but different. Have a seat around this fire again. You may be alone or with a large group of other souls. Notice how, again at the core of the fire, an opening appears with again stairs, a slide, or simply an energetic pillar. When you are ready, you are asked to enter here again, down the slide, down the stairs. into the energetic pillar through the fire. The temperature of the fire may be very different now. The intensity or density of the fire may be very different as well. For those of you that are getting sleepy and dozing off at these very high frequencies, set your pillar up a bit more powerfully and remain present for your experience. Take your time now for the next phase of your journey as you will enter into either a very similar environment as when you went through the core of the first fire or something totally different. Have your unique experience now.
and as you arrive and scope out your environment, you will notice that liquid light and or water will be part of this environment. And it is at the bottom of this pool of water, lake of water, waterfall, that you will find your next gift. So dive in, walk in, swim in. And be guided to the next gift. For some of you, it is going down very deep into this water through many tunnels, gateways, portals to get to this gift, but it is at the bottom of this liquid light, water-like substance. Again, the environment for each and every one of you is so vastly different. It can be very light outside. It can be underground, very dim lit all sorts of colors. You may be alone or with many other beings. The main object now is to retrieve your third gift. This gift is connected to the first two, but will be very different for each and every one of you. You may recognize it immediately, or it may be something very strange, even something, an object you have never even seen before, or remember seeing before. It may all come back to you. It may be small or very large. If it is very large, you can ask your team to assist you to compact it so it makes more sense to take it along with you. It may be small and become larger. It may be large and have the ability to become smaller. For some of you, it will be keys and codes or light language, a song, or a very tangible object like a crystal, a piece of jewelry, a pen, a book, a scroll. And for a very few of you, your third gift is a reconnection to a being soul family, animal totem, Arcturian. And many different variations to these themes. Keep breathing deeply up and down your pillar as the energies are getting higher and higher, Lord Arcturus states. Remain present. Take in all the energy. All is connected in one large energetic opening, healing, transformational journey of love and light. When you have retrieved your gift, make your way back up to the surface. Continue your journey by yourself or with a group of souls traveling with you. And as you continue walking, all of you will be asked to cross a bridge. And this bridge
can be rocks, a thin rock path across a large gorge or drop off, maybe a swinging bridge, maybe made of pure gold, diamonds, crystals, floating rocks, or invisible. For all of you, it will be a mini initiation to cross it. It will feel unstable at times. There may be some fear come up in you, some worries. You may not know how to do it, or if you can cross, or if you are safe. Hand all of these emotions over to your support teams for transformation. For some of you, it will be like walking a tightrope across a very wide drop down ravine. And like moving through your energetic wall, this too is an initiation. Make your way across in your own tempo and trust yourself. You are safe, but simply need to move through the emotionality and the thoughts and all belief patterns. For those of you that find it hard to cross this bridge, it is again expanding your higher chakras and allowing the creativity to move through them into your heart and through your heart. That will give you the answers energetically on how to cross your particular bridge. 75% of you are currently across for those of you that have crossed, simply taking your new surroundings on the other side of the bridge. You can all do it, Lord Arturus states, almost complete. All souls have crossed their bridge, very well done, Lord Arturus states. And he asks all to gather around again now, another liquid light fire. You may find yourself sitting alone again or with the original group or with other souls. Your fourth gift awaits you at the core of the fire. When you are ready, you may retrieve it. It is again an object that holds keys, codes, insights, wisdom, assistance for you. from no time, no space, into relevance in your linear timeline, in your current earthly incarnation. And Lord Arturus states, this may be for someone else in your earthly incarnation, but it will assist you to move through your initiations by assisting someone else in your current life. So be open to that as well, he states. 
This will be relevant for some of you. Connect to your gift now. Take it all in. Again, if there are any lower level emotions, beliefs, thoughts, let them go. Breathe them down to Gaia, down to Arcturus, up to Source, or hand them over to your support teams. Take some time now to allow your presence and your support teams and your Arcturian soul extension or soul extensions or those beings you met on your travels that have traveled with you to assist you to understand how all four gifts are connected. You may not have thought about that yet or felt into this, but all four are connected. And this realization will offer you deeper insights into your journey today. See, feel now how all four gifts spin in your multidimensional field and find their rightful place within your field. They might dissolve energetically or all be stored in your heart or in your hara or in your base chakras. They are one of you. They are one with you, and for some of you, a member of your support team or your Arcturian soul extension will hold on to these gifts for you, but for most of you, they will become part of your multidimensional field to be accessed when you need them, to guide you as a way to remember your journey and your insights. And your presence will keep communicating to you all that you have learnt on your journey, have experienced, and how you have grown through your initiation. Focusing now on the liquid light fire. Notice now again how it opens up. And now again a stairway. A slide or an energetic pillar reveals itself. Make your way through into this fire again now. And as you move through, you will come to realize It has brought you back to where you started. The first liquid light fire, the original temple you arrived at, Lord Arcturus stands with you and states that this is where you seal up your astral travels to this part of the Arcturian energies in the inner realms. All souls come together again to travel in group Merkaba back to the God Presence Communion Temple. Many of you will feel very internal. Some of you will feel quite external though because you have met a lot of your soul family and it has been all about connections. 
traveling back in Group Merkaba in three, two, one, now. As we arrive in the God Presence Communion Temple, simply set up your pillar back through to the core of Gaia and up to source, down to Gaia. Arriving now in the temple, connecting to Gaia and up to source, and find a seat in the concentric circles around the crystal at the core of the God Presence Communion Temple. Connect your brow, heart, and sacral energies to the crystal at the core. Notice that you're buzzing, you're different, expanded, high frequency. It feels like you have been on a big journey. Lord Arturus smiles because you have. And this journey was orchestrated especially for you. Divinely tailored to you by your spirit, orchestrated with your support team and Lord Arcturus, feels blessed he was a part of it, as we ask for all this energy work to be sealed and to integrate with grace, he's love, light, empowerment, allow up to 48 hours for integration, Lord Arcturus states. We ask for all this energy work to be deeply grounded into the core of Gaia, accessible for all who are ready. Come fully, fully, fully back into your here and now, into your physical body, breathing up to source and down to Gaia. Bring all of your consciousness and awareness back into your physical body. As again, we thank Arcturus, Lord Arcturus, the temples, our presences, our support teams, our soul extensions, and all other souls we met. Ask for all this energy work to be sealed and to integrate with Gracie's love, light, and empowerment. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So be it, so be it, so be it. It is done. So many blessings on the integration of this divine, tailor-made journey.